this tutorial, we will see a very basic step-by-step -step on how to morph between two moving images. We are going to concentrate on the technique in this tutorial so that you can apply it to any moving morph. So let's not dwell on the actual images, but the features in general that we want to compare and analyze in order to create this morph. Please try not to confuse hard with time consuming. I could have picked an easier transition with less open and closed shapes, but this will demonstrate how to get the results regardless of the sources. The beauty of using reflex motion morph is the flexibility of the ability to use open and closed splines instead of a mesh based morph option. Okay, let's get started. We can play the from the woman shot, which will be the source. She turns her head from left to right. Next, we can look at the two, the man shot, which will be the destination. This shot is also in motion as he is turning his head from left to right as well. We can morph from one shot to the other midway through. We'll see how to set this up in After Effects using Reflex Motion Morph. Note, you should have a basic understanding of morphing in general, but not necessary to have an understanding of morphing with our plugins. I'm starting from the very basics. Here's the result. This is a quick morph from one shot to the other through the head turn. You can see that they're not a perfect or obvious match from the start, but somehow she becomes him. Note, if your shots are different resolutions or if you make any transformations like repositioning or scaling, then you need to pre-comp one or both shots. This is our from shot. And this is our two shot. I've already added both shots to the timeline, but that's all I've done. We can line them up by making the from shot slightly transparent by going to the opacity and making it 50%. Then I can move the from shot in time to find where they both start the head turn move. I can slip the first frame of the from the woman shot to minus 0012. And scale her to 107%. And position to 868 on X. I left Y the same. I'm also going to slip the two shot, the man, 11. And change the X position to 1041.0. This will make the morph more believable and easier to achieve. Now take a look at the timeline here. We have the from and two shots on top of each other. And since we adjusted the opacity of the from shot to see the two shot, we can figure out over which frame range we want the morph to happen. In this case, I want the warp and blend or morph over this frame range and it will produce an effect where one person's head and facial features are transformed into the other person's head and facial features. I figured out that I want to have the transition to happen over 25 frames from frame 40 to frame 65. I can set markers in the timeline by going to layer, marker, add, and I'll add one at 40 and one at frame 65. I can put opacity back to 100% for the from the woman layer now. Now we need to pre-compose both layers because we modified the values and transform by scaling and repositioning. We select the layer starting with layer one and right mouse click and drag to pre-compose. I can change the name to woman precomp.mp4 and select move all attributes into the new composition option. We can do the same for layer two, the man layer. Now we can apply reflex motion morph to the layer that we want to be the from layer. In this case, the woman turning her head. Next, you need to designate the two shot or you'll see semi-transparent red in place of the two shot. Until you designate which is your two shot, the plugin will render all frames as semi-transparent red images to let you know the two image has not yet been set. 
we go to the effect controls and here where it says warp to layer, we select the man precomp. Reflex Motion Morph has a from and to image at each frame. The from image is the frame at the current frame that Reflex Motion Morph is applied to, and the to image is the frame at the current time of the warp to layer setting. In the settings, we can set the global warp percentage from 0% at frame 40 to 100% at frame 65. So it starts with no warping or completely the from image and then becomes 100% the to image. A sense of morph is a combination of warping and color blending. We also need to animate the global blend percentage. So 0% at frame 40 and 100% at frame 65. Don't forget to use the stopwatch so that these numbers will animate. Now we just need to set up the splines. Reflex Motion Morph warps each frame of a sequence with two sets of geometry, a from set of geometry and a to set of geometry. You should animate the from set so that the geometries match the same features from frame to frame in your from sequence. I'm going to start with the right eye. We can put the display on unwarped from and select the pen tool to draw an open spline, in this case, along her eyelash line, dropping vertices, and select the stopwatch to animate the spline. I'm going to duplicate the spline using Command-D for Mac and Windows and make this new one the to spline. I can name the from spline right eye underscore from and tap the color pot to change the color to whatever you want. I'm going to make my from red and my to blue, but you can choose whatever colors you want. It just helps you to keep them organized. I'm duplicating it prior to animating it so that we don't have to delete the keyframes that are set up for the from when we get to the two splines. Now I can name the two spline right eye underscore two and change the color to blue. Now we go back to the from spline. We can go to every or every couple of frames if there's a lot of movement like this or if there isn't as much movement, it doesn't need to be every frame. I can adjust the spline to match the eye on the from image for each frame. I'm just going to take the time to go through a few of the frames and make adjustments so you can really see what I'm doing. After the spline is matching the from image on every frame, or every four frames in this case, we can change the display to unwarped to and animate the spline on the to image to match the eyelash line of the man on the to image. Remember, we only animate the masks from frames 40 to 65 because we set the global warp and blend from 0 to 100 on frames 40 to 65. Now we can move on to the other eye. In this case, we'll draw a closed shape. We use the pen tool and drop vertices around the eye and close the shape. And then we select the mode None. We duplicate using Command D and this becomes the two shape. I can name it left eye from and to and change their colors. I'm going to use red for my from and blue for my to. We can walk through a couple more, and then I think you'll get the idea and be able to carry on.
I have added a few more splines, as you can see, because I figured you have got the hang of it now. When are you done? Well, you're done when you go to Warped and Blended and play it back and are happy with how it looks. Otherwise, just keep on adding more open and closed shapes until it works. Because these images are sufficiently similar, we can utilize the Auto Align and Smart Blend features to clean up the edges better and even match facial features better without adding more splines. You can watch the tutorial on Auto Align and Smart Blend to get more detailed information about these features. Now that all the splines are set up, I just want to recap. The splines are in from two pairs, and if you toggle the Auto Hide Show splines, you can see the from two pairs together or on their own. Now we can change the display to Warped and Blended and do a RAM preview and see how the Motion Morph looks. I think that looks pretty good. So this is how you can use Reflex Motion Morph to morph between moving images. <laughs>